So Guardians, first week of Zerf had a warm mind up there and you would expect something amazing, something awesome to kick it all off but with so very few exotics and the fact that they give you the first three anyway, it seems the choice for this week is pretty lackluster. Let's see what's in store. We have the Knucklehead Radar Exotic Helmet, been here multiple times now, 23 legendary shards to pick up, its intrinsic perk is upgraded sensor pack, provides a radar while aiming. Much like the Mida multi-tool. If you don't have it, it's pretty cool for PvP, but if you like to use your super and you play Arc Strider, the Raiden is a better option. But then again, this is still a nice piece if you're a hunter, and I'd recommend picking it up. Prometheus Lens has had extremely mad buffs over the coming months with the new exotic patch, so it's definitely worthwhile. I was with someone yesterday in a solar burn, and it was absolutely wrecking, just like most of the exotics are nowadays. So if you don't have it, and you missed it the first time it came round, and RNG hasn't blessed you with the option to get one, I highly recommend you to pick this one up. It's a lot of fun, and it's definitely one that you would want to use when Solar Burn turns up. Next up, we have the Vespa of Radius, an exotic chess piece for Warlock, again 23 legendary shards. The intrinsic perk is Planetary Torrent. Rifts release an arc shockwave when cast, rift energy recharges faster when you get surrounded by enemies. Honestly, there are superior options out there if you are running low on shards. I'd probably say give this a miss, but at this point I expect everyone to pretty much be swimming in legendary shards, even those that are new to the game. So, in all honesty, pick it up for the collection, but it's not something that you're ever going to probably use. At least from where I'm standing, though I don't main Warlock, there are multiple options out there that are just simply better options. We finally have a new exotic with Xur, called the Ashen Wake. Again, this isn't 23 legendary shards. The Prometheus Lens is 29 legendary shards. Weapons are generally more expensive. This is a new Warmind exotic designed for Sunbreaker class. Its perk, Bring the Heat. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. This isn't bad at all, normally the grenades are on the floor for a few seconds before they explode, with this you can now actually make sure it catches all the enemies you want. Problem is, 1. You're generally using Fermite if you're using Sunbreaker, and 2. Will this replace the current top exotic Hallowfire or the ever useful Armamentarium that I'm after? Probably not, but still worth picking up as a collection piece nonetheless. But other than that, I don't see this commanding a slot within your equipment. We have the three of coins, and they are what you expect, giving you a 50% increase in drop rate based on the base drop rate of the event you're doing. For example, public events give you a 4% chance to get an exotic engram. This will give you an additional 2%, 50% of the 4%, increasing it to 6%. That is how this works. You have a one-off item of the Five of Swords, this is entirely free, it replaces your rare Nightfall Challenge card with a legendary one. It gives you a lot more modifiers to work with, you can have two positives and up to three negatives. Depending on the negatives you select, they will give you a higher modifier. Like the Extinguish, which is now an optional modifier, this is the one that returns you to orbit if you all die, it will likely yield the biggest modifier. So finally we open up the Fated Engram to see what we get, so let's have a look. Oh my god, I got the Armamentarium, holy crap! I was just saying this earlier that I really wanted this and wow, this is just... Yeah, this is great. This is a really, really good piece. Sadly, it's not for Striker. If you're using this with Striker with the bottom tree, you'll gain two grenades. But if you're using it with the top tree, you, own, you don't get the additional grenade. In fact, the perk itself is nullified. However, if you're using this with Sunbreaker or Sentinel, you gain two grenades. This is pretty much a game changer for Titan absolutely game changer so yeah this is a really good i'm actually really chuffed that i got this this week because going into the raid this is going to help me a lot so this was pretty late this week i finally moved back into my recording room 
so all is now fixed thankfully, so videos should be coming out in a timely manner from here on out. Thanks for understanding, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Destiny 2 video. Remain Legend.